Dear students, today the topic of our lesson is Message in a Bottle. It is unit number 5 in New Oxford Modern English Grade 3. This story has been written by Nicholas Hasberg. The learning objectives of this lesson. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to read the lesson with correct pronunciation to improve their vocabulary and to answer all the given questions. First, I am going to read the text. A long time ago, two children, Afia and Hassan, lived in a small fishing village by the sea in the south of Pakistan. They were good friends and lived next door to each other. Their fathers were both fishermen. There was no school in the village, so the children built sand castles, chased crates, swam in the sea, and climbed coconut palms all day long. They had a wonderful life without any worries. One day, they were playing on the beach when they found a large green bottle. With great difficulty, the children took the cape off the bottle. Inside it, they found a piece of paper. What does it say? cried Afia excitedly. I don't know, replied Hassan. There is some writing on it, but we can't read. The children wondered what to do. Old Babu, the shopkeeper in the village, could read. He would be able to tell them what it said. They decided to go to him. They scampered along to the shop with the bottle and the paper. Look, Babu, cried the children excitedly. Look what we discovered on the beach. Old Babu took the paper from the children. He put on his glasses and started to read. If you get this, said Old Babu, reading from the paper, write to me. I'm David and I live in a small fishing village in New Zealand. Here is my address. Old Babu pointed to the address on the paper. Here is the boy's address, he said. This bottle has come all the way from New Zealand. It is a country far, far away over the deep blue sea. You must write to David. He must be a small child, just like you. Tell him that you found his message. The children looked down at their feet. They looked sad. Why are you looking so sad? Asked old Babu. We cannot read or write, can we? Replied Afia quietly. We are foolish. You are not foolish at all, said old Babu. Why don't you learn? There is no school here, said Hassan. How can we learn? I'll teach you, said old Babu with a smile. From that day, every afternoon, when the shop was quiet, the children sat with old Babu. He gave them paper and pencils, and he taught them. Some months later, Afia and Hassan wrote a letter to David in New Zealand. He wrote back to them. The months went by, the years went by. Afia and Hassan still write to David. Now they are nearly as old as old Babu was when he first read them the message in the bottle. Now word meanings. The first word is decided. It means made up one's mind. The second word is difficulty. Something not done easily. Discovered, found, foolish, not clever. Message. A short letter or words sent from one person to another. Scampered, ran quickly and lightly. Wondered, thought about, straps. A strip of leather, cloth or other flexible material used to fasten. Questions and answers. Question 1. Where did the children live? Answer. The children lived in a small fishing village in the south of Pakistan. Question 2. What did the children's fathers do? 
Answer, their fathers were fishermen. Question three, what did the children do all day? Answer, they built sand castles, chased crabs, swam in the sea, and climbed coconut palms. They played all day long. Question four, why did the children not go to school? Answer, the children did not go to school because there was no school in their village. Question five, what did the children do when they found the bottle? Answer, they took off the cap and found a piece of paper. Question six, why did the children take the paper to old Babu? Answer, they took it to old Babu because he could read and the children were not able to read. Question seven, how did old Babu help the children? Answer, he read them the letter and then he started to teach them how to read and write. Question eight, do you think the children were lucky to find the bottle? How? Answer, they were very lucky. It's a long way from New Zealand to Pakistan. The bottle could have been smashed or floated somewhere else. Question nine, what would you like to find in a bottle on the beach? The answer to this question depends on the student's choice. They will compose their own answer after discussion in the class. Dear students, this is the end of the lesson. Thank you very much. Goodbye.